The Manhattan District Attorney's Office confirms that on Friday, Daniel Penny, the man accused in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely, will be coming here to Manhattan Criminal Court to go before a judge when that information was confirmed. And as people started learning it throughout the day on Thursday, the reaction from protesters pretty much is what you'd expect. And then some. We are the street. They chanted messages of triumph at Collect Pond Park right across the street from District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office. Organizers of Black Lives Matter and other groups were here because they'd originally planned to carry out an Occupy type protest where demonstrators would live in the park until there was an arrest in the case of Jordan Neely's death from a chokehold on the subway. But around 5.30 Thursday evening, the DA's office confirmed that the man accused in the case, Marine veteran Daniel Penny, will turn himself in to face second degree manslaughter charges. That's when the protest took on a different feel. Our team is very excited. We're actually planning a party right now to celebrate this very, very small victory in the fight for justice. This is a huge civil rights victory for black people across America. Penny had held Neely in a chokehold for several minutes after Neely had been shouting at passengers in a car on the F train on May 1st, according to witnesses. They also said there was no indication that Neely had attacked anyone. Mayor Eric Adams on Thursday responded to questions about the chokehold. I cannot uh, be hypothetical on when it's appropriate or not. Uh, I know it's banned in the police department and the police department follows that rule. There are more Jordans out there. I said this over and over again. I see them. I talk to them. I interact with them. And so we need to make sure we prevent these things from happening. Agreeing with that sentiment, protesters and activists for Neely even though they've made it very clear they're not pleased with the mayor. We know this is not over. We know that there are more vulnerable people in this city. There are more others that need support. There's more people who are unhoused, who, who need food, who need protection. And so we're going to always continue uh, the fight. But for a moment, what was supposed to be an all-night vigil became an into-the-night celebration. Even though Penny will turn himself in on Friday, a grand jury will still hear evidence in the case. That's expected after Penny's arraignment. If he is found guilty of the charges, he faces up to 15 years in prison.